Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. It's hard to believe it's been one year since I started this journey. One year ago today, I brought home a 1976 Course Air travel trailer, 12 foot trailer that I thought was going to be this great DIY restoration project. I had such high hopes for it. A lot of mistakes were made and a lot of lessons were learned, but I would do it all over again in a minute because I've learned so much and it has been such a rewarding experience that I wanted to share with you the ups and downs of the past year on my travel trailer adventure. So first of all, I really didn't examine the trailer as thoroughly as I should have when I purchased it. I brought it home, it wasn't a very expensive purchase, so I thought at the time that it was a uh, fairly low risk investment to see what I could do and redo it. COVID lockdowns had had everything uh, pretty much shut down, so I thought it would be a great project to work on and make YouTube videos, and I thought uh, you know I could really make a difference in the trailer. I spent a lot of time in there kind of looking around at the space that I had and wondering what I would do and how it would change things. And then I began to take some things apart. And the more I took apart, the more I didn't like about the trailer <laughs> and what it was all about. I started to realize there was going to be very little that I would be able to salvage from the trailer. Um, the appliances, the cabinetry, the, the you know, um, the siding on the walls, everything I started to rip out. And as I began to do this, I started to realize that I was having less and less of the trailer left behind. But what I didn't realize at the time was what I was learning from taking apart the trailer and seeing how it was framed. And as I was looking at it, I was constantly thinking that I would have done this differently, I would have done that differently. And little did I know that that would inspire me to eventually get to the point where I am today. The project started to get a little out of control and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little stressed and maybe even a little embarrassed that I had really kind of underestimated how incredibly damaged and um, really rotten this trailer was. And I continued to uh, take it apart and then I had the idea that maybe I would just take it down to the wooden frame and rebuild it from there. I wanted to have some sort of continuity from the original trailer and um, I thought well you know what I've gone this far let's just strip it down to the wooden frame and then I will redo it from there and maybe it would be easier to work from scratch. As I was taking it apart the more and more I took off the more I realized how flimsy it was and then the actual floor and the actual frame it was on um, really started to realize that that was completely rotten and in bad shape. So it didn't take long to realize that the metal frame underneath the trailer was a disaster. It was bent, it was rusted, um, I did not feel safe towing it on the road whatsoever. So for me the realization that that was the foundation of this trailer and it was completely rotten um, and I am not a welder so I started thinking ahead on was I going to ask somebody to repair it or was I just going to build one from scratch. I still had the idea that I wanted to keep the wooden frame of the original trailer for the sake of the project um, but to be honest with you at this point I really didn't know where this was going to lead. So with the help of my family I was able to lift off the frame of the trailer and pull out the metal frame of Eddie and at that point it was clear that it was not salvageable and the only way to go forward with this project was to completely redo the metal frame. Now as months went on and I was researching frame building and the more work I had done on Eddie and little did I know I was I was really teaching myself and learning a lot from this project and at some point a light bulb went on and I thought to myself maybe I can build my own trailer
So there you go. That is how I got to this point in the build. And reflecting on the past year, what are some of the things that I would have done differently? What would I have changed? Well, number one is I would have selected a stronger axle. Everything I had researched showed me that most trailers this size were well under 3,500 pounds, but because I am overbuilding this with a very heavy steel frame underneath and I'm not skimping on any of the niceties inside like a wood stove and that sort of thing, um, it is probably going to be over 3,500 pounds. Um, in a previous video, I just weighed it at this point and it was uh, 2,200 pounds. So I will be swapping out the axle and I'll probably go to a 6,000 pound axle just so that I know that it will be durable enough to handle some of the places that I plan on taking the trailer. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't have rushed um, the build and I would have had the metal frame powder coated. Instead, I was excited to get it going and I couldn't arrange a powder coating done um, quickly enough to keep the process going and I was excited to make videos for you guys. Um, and I decided to use Flex Seal, which I had used on my camper extension for my pickup truck and I found it to be very durable and I thought it would be a good solution. And it has been, but it has scratched off. Um, I think it'll be fine. It may take some reapplications to make sure that there's no rust um, getting onto the trailer frame. But if I had to do it again, the proper way of doing it, I certainly would have powder coated the frame and had that done before I started the build on top of it. Which leads me to the framing of the trailer. Everything I've done so far, I've been really happy with. The metal frame, I would not change a thing because it is rock solid. The build in episode four, if you want to check out my channel, um, I would suggest anybody follow that blueprint and you will have a rock solid trailer frame. Building on top of it, at the time, I was comfortable with wood. Wood framing, I've done a little bit of it in my lifetime. And I've had no problems with it. Metal studs keep everything nice and straight. Um, there's benefits to using it and there's disadvantages of using it. I chose to go with wood. If I had to do it again, I probably would try steel studs and steel framing, um, mainly to keep things at nice 90 degree angles and you know you don't have to worry about wood um, suddenly having a bend or a bow to boards that um, originally were straight. So that's the one thing I would change. I'd probably go with steel studs if I did it again. So as you've probably seen by the videos, the checker plated aluminum has been spray painted black. I scuffed it up with the drill and uh, basically just applied some uh, exterior grade spray paint to it. I feel that it's starting to chip off already and I do not know how durable it will be. So if I did it again, I would probably research and probably take a different approach to spray painting the aluminum. And finally, before you start to do a trailer build of your own, one thing that I found out the hard way is getting this insured. I have had my home insurance and auto insurance with a large uh, insurance company that I've dealt with for years. And I just assumed that I would be able to get this trailer insured through my company. To my surprise, when I told them that I had custom built it from the ground up, they told me that they were not able to ensure that was not their policy. Ironically enough, they would have had no problem insuring the piece of junk that I bought originally because it was from a manufacturer. So if you're thinking of doing this, be careful, make sure that you can get insurance for it. I had to switch insurance companies to another large insurance company that's very well known. And luckily for me that they were able to insure it. I had to send some photos to them and a little bit of discussion and switch over uh, my house and auto insurance with that company. But I was able to get it insured. It is a reasonable price. However, I did have to switch companies. So it's something that you need to know if you're thinking about building a trailer from scratch. So there you go. I hope you got something out of the video. It's been an amazing year. Um, I've never would have expected <laughs> where I started off to be where I am today with this. Um, Eddie, as you can see, is a still a construction zone inside. I've roughed in. Um, you know, pot lights and I've roughed in, um, you know, certain things that look a little rough right now, but I, I did it just so I can have some lighting here. The shower behind me, I'm currently framing in. I got to put some vapor barrier and I'm going to use a curdy waterproof membrane and tile it up uh, nice. And uh, again, it's going to be uh, a pretty, uh, very comfortable inside. You're going to be surprised at how it turns out. So stay tuned. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel so you can see the whole process and maybe a year from now it might be completed. Thanks for watching. Cheers.